بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على أشرف الأنبياء وإمام المرسلين سيدنا وإمامنا ومولانا محمد بن عبد الله عليه وعلى آله الطيبين وأصحابه الغر الميامين أفضل الصلاة وتم تسليم في هذه الليلة الطيبة قمت بزيارة الإخوة في قناة الهدى في مصر والاطلاع على عدد من النشاطات التي يقومون بها وهم لهم جهد مبارك في دعوة الناس باللغة الإنجليزية سواء دعوة غير المسلمين إلى الإسلام أو تعليم المسلمين أنفسهم دينهم بإقامة عدد من البرامج التي تشرح الفقه والحديث والعقيدة والتفسير وكذلك البرامج الفتاوى وما شابه ذلك والإخوة حقيقة يحتاجون اليوم إلى توسيع نشاطهم ليشمل دولا كبيرة في مختلف أنحاء العالم في أوروبا وفي استراليا وفي غيرها وهذا يحتاج إلى نفقات كثيرة فهم لهم عدد من الأفكار منها أفكار تسويقية لبعض منتجات القناة وذلك من خلال برنامج سموه هل بلغت اللهم هل بلغت بمعنى أن الإنسان يبلغ الدين إلى الآخرين فهم لهم عدة طرق يبيعون أقلاما يرجع ناتجها وأرباحها إلى القناة يبيعون يعني أيضا كؤوس أكواب يعود أيضا هذا إلى القناة يبيعون ملابس قمصان يعود أيضا ناتجها إلى القناة وكل شيء من هذا إما مثلا يشتري الإنسان مثلا قلما ب 12 ريالا بحيث أنه يعود ناتجه إلى القناة يكفل لمدة سنة أو سنتين أو خمس سنوات الذي يشتري مثلا كأسا ب 60 ريالا يعود على القناة الدعم بخمس سنوات مثلا أو, أو مثلا يشتري قميصا فيكون مدى الحياة المهم لهم تنظيم جيد حقيقة في هذا ولهم عدد من الحسابات الرسمية الموجودة سواء في المملكة العربية السعودية أو في غيرها أيضا من دول الخليج أو كذلك في أنحاء العالم يستطيع الإنسان أن يودع من خلالها وأيضا من خلال موقع القناة الذي يظهر الآن أثناء كلامي يمكن بإذن الله تعالى إذا دخل إليها أحدكم أن يكون له خير وبلا شك يا الإخوة أننا جميعا مطالبون بالدعوة إلى الله تعالى مطالبون برحمة الناس بإنقاذهم مما هم عليه عدد كبير جدا ممن يتكلمون اللغات الأخرى لا يعرفون الإسلام وعدد من المسلمين أيضا لا يعرفون من يسألون عندما يقعون في بعض الأخطاء في دينهم أو في دنياهم فهذه القناة تسد بلا شك ثغرة كبيرة حقيقة في مثل هذا الباب أسأل الله أن يجزي الإخوة الكرام خير الجزاء على مثل هذا التقديم الطيب وأسأل الله لا يحرمهم عظيم الأجر وجليل الثواب وأنا الآن يعني أشتري منهم خمسة قمصان ب 500 ريال لأجل الدعم يعني في مدة أطول بإذن الله وأدعوكم أيها الأفاضل إلى أن تفعلوا مثل ذلك أسأل الله لي ولكم التوفيق وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Allah knows what's best for us So why should we complain Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters, welcome back That was a message that you heard from Sheikh Al-Arifi Who was a very famous uh, caller to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And scholar in Saudi Arabia And mashallah, he contributed And uh, he bought uh, five t-shirts for 500 riyals uh, So uh, mashallah, that was his uh, contribution for Huda TV The message that you saw was actually filmed a few days ago here when uh, In the Huda TV studios When uh, Sheikh Al-Arifi came to visit our studios uh, as part of his tour uh, in Egypt. Uh, mashallah, he was, he was uh, in Egypt for uh, about a week and he gave a lot of beautiful lectures in different masajid. He gave uh, Khutbat al-Jum'ah at uh, Masjid Amr ibn al-As, the very famous uh, uh, masjid, alhamdulillah, Rabbi Amin. Uh, I want to take a moment to remind you of our joint uh, production and our joint broadcast with Bidaya TV that uh, you can be seeing on the screen momentarily, inshallah. We have from Saudi Arabia broadcasting live right now, Dr. Zakir Naik and Sheikh Jam'an Zahrani, who are the, uh, Sheikh Jam'an Zahrani is the general manager of uh, Huda TV. And of course, Dr. Zakir Naik, may Allah reward him, he's there to support Huda TV. We heard part of his uh, message a little bit earlier in support of uh, Huda TV. And uh, if uh, they have something else to say in English, we'll bring it to you, inshallah. Um, take, let me take a moment to uh, welcome a, a very special guest who has joined us uh, in the studio, Sheikh Zainuddin Johnson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for taking uh, time to be with us this evening. Uh, thank you, brother. Zakallah khayyim. Barakallah fiqh. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, our phone number is 002 0238 555 248 or 249. And we also have 
uh, two extra lines specially for you, inshallah. Your phone calls are coming right in, Brother Abu Bakr. As salamu alaykum. Brother, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Dubai. Mashallah, mashallah. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I want to make a contribution. I just came out of hospital, I had operation. Mashallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you recover very easily and very fast, Ya Rabb. Thank you very much. So I want to make a contribution of uh, 2,000 dirham. Allah 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 Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you so much. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you a very, very fast recovery and may he reward you tremendously. Ameen, Ya Rabb. Sister Hawa from Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sister Hawa, I also recognize your voice. You're one of our regular callers on Hadi TV, mashallah. I'm calling from Nigeria and I want to donate the sum of $500. MashaAllah. Thank you so much. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Jazakallah khayran. Like I said, the night is just getting started. Jazakallah khayran, Sister Hawa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it in your scale of good deeds and may He reward you tremendously. Brothers and sisters, give us a call. We're waiting for you. Come on, what's happening? You know, the night is just getting started. Uh, I'm going to take off my jacket in a little bit because, you know, it's, it's getting hot with all these lights. But we, need to, we need to get the ball moving here, inshallah, so that we can get to as many homes in the West. Help Huda TV reach its target tonight, $500,000. That is our target, ta'ala. We're trying to launch in as many homes in the West, more specifically in the UK and the United States. We say that we have products for you. If I can ask the brothers to put the products on the screen for us, inshallah, as soon as they're able to. First thing is a pen. You, you get a pen uh, from Huda TV that costs $4. This pen that costs $4, uh, uh, SubhanAllah, will sponsor getting uh, Huda TV into a, a home in the West for one year. And when we say a home, we're not saying one person. We're saying an av a family, you know, of five. average size of five or six people, as Sheikh Jam'an said on Bidaya TV just uh, a little while ago. Um, we're looking at a donation if, if you're able to, uh, to buy a mug uh, for, uh, for $16. Inshallah, that will sponsor getting Huda TV into a home for, subhanAllah, for five years. Five years. And then if you're able to buy a t-shirt for $27, as you can see on your screen right now, that will sponsor, that will help build the infrastructure. Because some people are wondering, oh, it says on the screen for a lifetime, how does $27 help uh, you know, Huda TV be uh, there in a, in a Western home for a lifetime? I mean, you guys need to start making sense in your advertisements. We're doing this, inshallah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not for any personal gain, but we're doing it for the gain of the ummah. And I'm here, I want to tell you that, yes, for a lifetime. How? Because you help building the infrastructure of the network and the satellites that Huda TV wants to, to get on. So yes, you do help a person for $27 to get uh, Huda TV, inshallah, in their home for a lifetime. And we have a couple of phone calls. So let me take the first one. Sister Fatima from Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much, Sister Fatima, for calling. May Allah reward you tremendously. Alhamdulillah. It's really nice that uh, I just called my husband and asked him for more reals. And uh, with my, along with my kids and myself, then my husband is donating totally it comes to 1500 real now mashallah mashallah tabarakallah allah subhanallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and him and reward you for his donation as well inshallah i mean Amen. Uh, even my husband is a very uh, sincere guy mashallah please do the phone also Amen. he is uh, conducting an non muslim pro dawa pro program on friday inshallah mashallah mashallah and uh, uh, from my childhood i'm really interested in dawa also I'm really hoping uh, for the uh, grace of Allah by Huda TV. We are spreading the message to all over the world. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, exactly. Khayr. Thank you so much, Sister Fatima. This is my ambition. Yeah, it comes to Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I mean, 2,500 riyals from Sister Fatima. Please do draw for my family and my kids too, and everyone in this world who's uh, really having them. a time, hard time. May Allah bless them. Ameen, Ya Rabbi. Ameen. Brother Sayyid from Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just contributed on behalf of my father uh, one thousand dollars. I Allah just Allah. want to contribute uh, uh, in uh, on behalf of my mother uh, another one thousand dollars. Uh, I request uh, Sheikh Abdul Kamin to uh, pray for my uh, father who is no more in this world. And, Allah Subhanahu uh, wa Taala give him mercy. Yes, Allah Yes, Allah Al Azim, Rabb Al Arsh Al Kareem, An Yaghfir Lah, Wa An Yarhamah. اللهم اغفر له اللهم ارحمه اللهم اجعل قبره روضة من رياض الجنة يا رب العالمين 
اللهم اجعل هذه الصدقة جارية عليه في قبره يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم جازه بالحسنات أحسانا وبالسيئات عفوا وغفرانا اللهم أنزل على قبره النور والفسحة والسرور جزاك الله خيرا نعم الولد الصالح نحسبك كذلك ولا نزكيك على الله May Allah reward you, ya akhi, for remembering your parents. May Allah reward you. This is the true birth for parents. May Allah reward you. Nas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yajma'aka bihum fil jannah, ya rabbal alameen. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to gather all of you in jannah. Amen. Zakallah khair. Barakallah feek. Brother Ahmed from Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum. I'd like to contribute 5,000 Saudi Riyals. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Like I said, the night is just getting started. Allahumma barik lahu. Allahumma barik lahu. Allahumma barik lahu. Thank you so much, Brother Ahmed. Zakallah khair. Barakallah khair. Thank you so much. Brothers and sisters, I really do not want to stop taking your phone calls. I know there are thousands and thousands of people out there watching. Pick up the phone. Call for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know Huda TV is really a non-profit channel. This is not a, a channel, you know, that uh, tries to see, you know, what is the best way so that we can take money from people and we can scheme them into calling into our shows and we make, you know, these fake contests and things like that. We don't do that. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the people on this channel who are running this channel sincere for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you yourself know it. Whenever you call on any of our live programs, do we charge you a penny? Do we as Huda TV charge you anything, a single dollar, a single penny for your phone calls like most of the other uh, private channels do? We don't. You, you pay maybe if you're calling uh, you know, uh, on an international call, you pay whatever company or whatever calling card that you're using, but we don't get anything out of it. We try to provide a free service so that we can able, uh, we're able to reach, inshallah, as many people as we can in the Muslim Ummah. Those who are rich, those who are not, those who are middle class, those who are not. You know, we want to reach out to every single person, but we all have to come together to help the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And like I said, and I'm saying it again tonight, it is not only about promoting Islam, even though that is a great cause, but it's also about defending the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best type of offense is defense. Okay, if you have a great soccer team, for example, and they have the all-star offense, but they have no defense at all, then uh, they're going to lose pretty, pretty easily. And they're going to have 10 goals scored on them, and by the time they're able to score a goal, they would have lost the battle. So, uh, inshallah, my dear brothers and sisters, take that intention for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give me a call right now. Give us a call. Give us a call for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not let the shaitan prevent you from calling for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making whatever contribution you're able to make. The night is only getting started. This is all I can say. Brother Ahmed, salamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Hello, wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Go ahead, my brother. Yes, well, actually, I'm from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Yes, brother. And uh, I just want to donate uh, for uh, $400. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Thank you so much. Allahu Akbar. Zakallah khair, brother. Allahu Akbar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. Second thing is, is, is it uh, the, your uh, account for the uh, Dubai, this uh, through Islamic Bank is uh, valid? We can send it through them? Yes, uh, look, you'll see on, on the bottom of your screen, You'll see two bank accounts in Saudi Arabia. You'll see one in uh, in Dubai, uh, in in the UAE, and then you'll see one in Egypt. Whichever one is best for you, whichever one is more convenient for you, go ahead and donate. The numbers on the bottom of the screen are absolutely correct. We Unfortunately, sure. my screen, you know, I, it is hidden. You know, I cannot see this one. But I have your old number. I have before. I have denoted to to Dubai. Okay. So I can send it to the same account. Tayyib, inshallah, the best, the best thing would be to just, to, just to, you know, make sure that you're, you're sending it to the right places to log on to huda.tv and you'll see a link okay. on there. Make sure the number okay. is, okay. Let, let, let is the same. Check it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Sister Hani, assalamu alaikum. From Morocco, mashallah, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Thank you so much, sister. Call, call us all the way from Morocco, mashallah. Yeah, I'm calling from Morocco. Yeah, and I'd like to donate like a hundred dollars. Mashallah, mashallah. I want to know where to go by the, you know, like... Uh, would you, sister, like, there, there are two ways for you. Two ways me? for you. 
Uh, uh, there, there are two ways that you can contribute from, from your location. The first one would be to log on to huda.tv slash products or no, slash share. I mean, I mean uh, if I don't want to use the, the computer. Okay, uh, I, I, would, I would recommend you, you send it through Western Union. And Western you'll see on the scrolling bar, on the scrolling bar, you'll see the Western Union uh, um, information. Okay, so that I, sh you I should go to Western Union here, you know, and I'm from Morocco, I'm Kenya. Yeah. Can I, where, where should I go? Just to Western Union and... Uh, and uh yes, just through Western Union. I'll see, you'll see on the scrolling bar down, down on, on the bottom of the screen, uh -huh. you'll see the name of the person that you should put it uh, into. That is actually the name of our accountant. Uh -huh. Don't think it's just some random person. Okay. Well <laughs> this I is the name of our accountant, <laughs> inshallah. You can send it uh, to, to that name, inshallah. Okay, I will exchange it to, to Dirham. And uh, I would like uh, someone pl please to pray for me because I don't feel really too good. But say, say that last part again, <coughs> sister. I didn't get it. I said uh, I would like for uh, someone there please to, p to pray for me because I don't feel really good. طيب زكي الله خير ما هفش كريم sister says she doesn't she doesn't feel uh, yeah. really good. Uh, uh, Sheikh, uh, you guys are saying it. <laughs> whoever <laughs> whoever <laughs> the camera gets, inshallah, <laughs> go ahead and say. Go ahead, Sheikh Zain. Sheikh Zain. Uh, sister, uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to uh, bless, you, bless you and bless the wealth that you, that you have been given. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to uh, help you to get better from how you're feeling inshallah ta'ala. And uh, that inshallah ta'ala you can continue uh, in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Barakallah Brothers, do we have uh, more phone calls on the line? Okay. Uh, Brother Pervais, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother, you call us from Qatar, mashallah. I contributed 2,000 US dollars. 2,000 US dollars. I did, I did. In fact, uh, you did, mashallah. again listening to you, I was more inspired, alhamdulillah. So I want to change that to 10,000 Qatari riyals. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. 10,000 10, Saudi riyals. Yeah. 10,000 Saudi Riyals are Qatari Riyals. Thank you. Allah. Jazakallahu khairan, ya Burfiz. Jazakallahu khaira. Barakallahu laka fi malik. Barakallahu laka fi malik. Barakallahu laka fi malik. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your wealth. Ya Rabb, multiply it for him. Ya Rabb al-alameen. Jazakallahu khaira. Jazakallahu khaira. Barakallahu fiik. Brothers and sisters, wallahi, I'm so happy. Like, every single person who calls in, I feel that they're part of my family. And I'm a part of their family. And we're all here at Huda TV, alhamdulillah, one family. I mean, you know, behind the scenes, uh, alhamdulillah, Rabbi, I mean, everyone, uh, and I say this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like people here are working together in order to make things better. No one works for their own individual show. Just because I present a program, just because Brother Malik presents another program, Sheikh Karim presents a third program, Sheikh Zain presents a fourth program. These are all just programs on really a bouquet that we like to call Huda TV. It's not about my program or his program or, you know, Alhamdulillah, I mean, we don't have these types of things. So at the end of the day, your contribution goes to promote Huda TV. It goes to promote a, a channel, bi-idhnillah ta'ala, my dear brothers and sisters, that is out there, bi-idhnillah, to help promote goodness in the world, to help promote the truth, to help promote the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine just, uh, you know, le let alone all the programs that, that we broadcast on Hura TV, just think about the very simple thing that we do, which is the Qur'an recitation. We have a brother, you know, he's one of our directors, his name is Brother Ahmed Ismail. And this brother, what he does is that he brings the Qur'an ayat and every single night at midnight Mecca, Mecca time, it broadcasts on Huda TV for 30 minutes, a portion of the Qur'an. I can tell you, my family, and if my wife is watching, she'll, uh, she'll, uh, she'll know what I'm talking about. At the end of the night, we want to you know, cool things down at home, get ready to sleep. We go ahead and turn on the TV to Huda TV and just listen to the Qur'an. Something that is so simple for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you broadcast to Huda TV, we're able, ta'ala, when you contribute, we're able to broadcast that same great message, the simple words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the great words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the words of the Quran, we're able to broadcast them to millions and millions and millions of homes in the United States and in the UK. Places where they simply, when they turn on the TV, they don't see Mecca, they don't see you know, Salah coming from Medina like we I'm do. I'm curious, Osama, Sheikh uh, Zain is from Australia? Yeah, of course, Sheikh Australia. Australia. Yes. Down under, you're from down under, uh, now you're, you're up Australia. over. <laughs> and Sheikh, uh, you know what I, I wanted to ask you, Sheikh Zainuddin, you come from Australia, you're a revert to Islam like myself, so you know better than all of us perhaps how important it is to have an English language channel broadcast in the English-speaking world. Perhaps you could speak a little bit about that. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 
الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for you guys calling me in and also thank you for accepting my invitation on such a short notice. Before that, I'd like to thank Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for allowing me to be part of this, to participate in this, because let's put money aside for the moment. Let's let's put it to the side and let's think about what we're doing here. Let's think about the intention that this is an opportunity for us to reach paradise through this. It's not every day you get a golden opportunity to try and uh, to, to gather so much deeds, so many good deeds by just one telephone call or by di digging your hand into your pocket and giving such a small amount or, or a large amount that this will be something that will continue in your whole life. Something that will continue after your life, after you're dead. That if, if our ten intention is correct and that we are participating in this, that this should be an opportunity for us to reach paradise. Maybe, maybe just on the day, on the day of judgment, maybe we'll see this $100 or this $400 or this 10,000 dirhams that we, that we gave on this night and we'll see that this might be the thing that tips the scales, subhanAllah, tips the scales on the day of judgment that puts us into paradise. Maybe from the money that you gave, maybe somebody in a European country or somebody in America or somebody in Australia, in my country, I hope really I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this happens, but maybe somebody benefits and these rewards will go back on you. These re rewards will come back to you. You will be, uh, you will be in paradise. And then you will be raised a level, going up to the next, par next level in paradise. What was this for? <laughs> what was this for? Because that, that penny that you gave, that dime that you gave, that, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it benefited somebody. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised you in the paradise and you didn't even know. But it was because that person, maybe he was a person who was worshipping a lot. Maybe he was a person who memorized the whole Qur'an because of some small message that he heard on Huda TV. And this is, what we're, this, is what we're, you know, this is what we're building here. We're building a bank account. We, I don't like the word donate. I've heard people say, I want to donate. No, I want to invest. I want to invest in the Akhirah. That's what we want to do. We want to invest in the Akhirah. And this is the, you know, I can tell you something that when I was watching before uh, Dr. Zakanaik, I, I sat back and I thought to myself, subhanAllah, look at, just think about how many people have benefited, let's say not from Zakanaik, let's say, let's go back to his teacher, Ahmed did that. Yeah. SubhanAllah. And I tell you, Wallahi, I tell you, some, I tell you something. 13 years ago, just over 13 years ago, I was a guy that was sitting in Australia and I was searching, SubhanAllah. searching for the truth. I was looking for something. People began to, Alhamdulillah, Allah began to guide me, gave me some books. But one book that stood out from all the rest was a book called The Choice. Ahmed did that. Subhanallah. 300 pages, I think. And subhanAllah, that was the book that pushed me over the edge. That was the book that, that taught me that everything that they had told me since I was small was a lie. That what they had been teaching me was wrong. And this book, and I remember on the, on the cover of this book was uh, a stamp from King Faisal from Saudi Arabia. And then I read about it. And he had, he was the one, because Ahmed did that, first of all, yeah, he put the effort in. He, he got the knowledge. He memorized, and he put all that effort in. But who was it who put the money behind it? Yeah, right. How did that book end up in my hand yeah, in Australia? Right. You know? Yeah, of course. And it was through that, that king, Malik yeah. Faisal, yeah, that he had, uh, from, his, from the money from the country, he had given uh, to, to put money behind Dawah. Ahmed did that. And I say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless that man. Yes, may Allah bless that man because, because of that was one of the reasons.
Yes, yeah, that, that I myself was able to come to Islam. A person that was half a world away from where that book was written on the other side of the Indian Ocean. Yes, but yet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me through that. Yes, uh, and this is uh, the opportunity that we can all share in. And I, I, I feel privileged to be able to be amongst this. Uh, yes, because if, if that knowledge can reach the West, uh, we, we maybe say, well, why, why Europe? Why America? And I'm sure uh, Dr. Karim can, can, uh, can vouch for that. That in the West, we have a cocktail of, of, of understanding of Islam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the dangerous piece. A yeah. cocktail. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good word to use, yeah? That's a very dangerous <laughs> piece, uh, Zain, yes. Subhanallah. Yeah. And uh, just the other day, here, I was visiting one of the, uh, one of the Arabic schools here. And uh, one brother, he... Uh, he came and approached me and he said that, uh, can I help uh, one American brother? He was an American, Albanian, and uh, he said that he couldn't, he, had, he, he, he was from America, he just arrived, and he said that he couldn't find uh, any knowledge. And I, I, I said, well, you couldn't find any knowledge? Well, this is strange for me because in Australia, we believe that in America is the ulama, like, yeah. like our sheikh here. And you have many sheikhs in America. And I said, you know, how is it that you couldn't find any knowledge? I said, there is knowledge everywhere in America as far as I know. But he said, yes, Sheikh. But the problem is that we don't know who's right and who's wrong. Mm -hmm. That this one is saying this and this one is saying this and this one is saying this. So we don't know who to follow. Right. So can you help me? This is very true. So <laughs> Can you help me? Zakum yeah. khairan. And uh, can you help me is the question that we're going to be asking to Brother Abu Zaid. Assalamu alaikum from Saudi Arabia. Brother Abu Zaid, assalamu alaikum. Yeah, I'm Um Zaid. Um Zaid. I'm Saudi. Um Zaid, I apologize. Go ahead, sister. I'm Abu Zaid. <laughs> <laughs> Abu Zaid. <laughs> um Zaid on the phone with us. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Wa alaikum salam. First, I would like to thank you for giving me for giving us this opportunity. Wa a Part of your good intention. I would like to invest my a part of my jewelry. Inshallah, I will uh, tomorrow go and exchange it in currency. Mashallah. And that amount, I would like, Inshallah, to invest in your uh, account, Inshallah. Barakallahu feekum. Jazakallahu khairan. Jazakallahu khairan. Khair. Khair. As Sheikh Zain said. May Allah reward you, sister. Barakallahu feekum. Really. Brother Yusuf, assalamu alaikum from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. My name is Yusuf. Yes, brother Yusuf. I was saving up for a game, but after I saw this video, I thought I wanted to donate a hundred dollars. MashaAllah. What were you saving up for? A game. A game? SubhanAllah. Yeah. SubhanAllah. <laughs> Zakum, may Allah like give you a thousand games in Jannah, my, uh, <laughs> my young brother. <laughs> and in this dunya, inshallah, also. <laughs> inshallah. Halal games, inshallah. Zakallah khairan, brother Yusuf. SubhanAllah, look, look at that. The Muslim youth. And, and their contributions. It's beautiful, Osama. Mean, Alhamdulillah. 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 Brothers and sisters, I need your phone calls. So give us a call, inshallah. 002 0238 248 or 249. You know, a person would feel uh, a little bit ashamed if they're asking money for their own selves or, you know, or, or something like that. But uh, we're asking money here for Huda TV, your channel. So we're asking money from you, for you, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I don't feel ashamed. Give us a call, inshallah. Brother Bintu from Nigeria, Assalamu Alaikum. Brother or sister, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam. Yes, sister. Hello. Sister, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, I, I can hear you, sister. Go ahead. Bintu. Yes, Bintu speaking from Nigeria. Hello. Mashallah. Go ahead. Okay, I would like to donate $100. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Oh. khairan. That was enough. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, for the sake of Allah. We have a phone call from Qatar. Assalamu alaikum. Hanif, brother Hanif. Hello. Yes, brother Hanif, go ahead. I can hear you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah bless all the Huda TV staffs and uh, yourself and uh, uh, all the programmers. Amen. May Allah bless uh, for uh, this uh, event. 
and uh, okay. I, I would like to contribute a thousand riyal, Qatar riyal. Allahu Allah Allah Akbar, Allahu Allah Akbar, ya Akhi. And 500 for my late parent, parents. May Allah have mercy and on them. 500 Amen. for my wife's uh, late parents. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on all four of them. Uh, your parents and, and her parents, bi'ithnillahi ta'ala. Zakallah khairun. Brother Mikhail from Libya, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Brother, thank you for calling in. Uh, I'd like, like to donate one, one, one red dollar, inshallah. Inshallah. Barakallahu akbar. Jazakallahu akbar. Jazakallahu khairun. Thank you so much. Brothers and sisters, 002 248 or 249 are our two main numbers. And I want these numbers to continue ringing off the hook, inshallah. We have two extra numbers for you also that you'll be seeing displayed on the screen. Those are especially running for you so that uh, uh, only for, for tonight's event so that we can make sure we don't have any holdups uh, on the line, inshallah. Give us a call. Contribute for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Invest for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Sheikh Zain al-Din said, inshallah. Um, I want to ask Brother Malik uh, a question that he never <laughs> got to answer because <laughs> Alhamdulillah we have a lot of phone calls and like Sheikh, Sheikh Karim said uh, I hope that, uh, <laughs> that we don't get to answer many questions uh, tonight <laughs> let me ask you uh, this question Brother Malik but guess <laughs> what I'm not going to ask you because we have another call <laughs> Assalamu alaikum from Dubai Assalamu alaikum <laughs> Sister Noor Assalamu alaikum Sister Moon I apologize you're also one of our regular callers I recognize your name Jazakallah <laughs> Uh, sir, I made a promise when you did uh, share the reward part one that I will pay, but I was unable to pay, so I was. Uh, now I want to add that amount also now. Mashallah, this is uh, consider this share the reward three, and go ahead and, run, and, and contribute, inshallah. And uh, I also want to make a promise that I will make a monthly contribution every month. Uh, how how because much, sister? Because the phone line is cutting off like a bit. A deed that is done regularly. Uh, I didn't get the number. If you can repeat it. Sister Moon? I want to buy five t-shirts. Five oh, t-shirts. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Allah That's wonderful. Akbar. Thank you Allah so much. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Jazakallah khairan. Feel free, inshallah, to log on to huda.tv slash products. And uh, give us a call, inshallah. We have a phone call from Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Sister Bara, go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Bara. I'm calling from Nigeria. Thank you so much for calling all the way from Nigeria, mashallah. I want to commend the efforts of Huda TV because we have benefited a lot from the TV and the sheikhs by making the presentation. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I want to make um, an investment. Yes. I'll contribute $100. Allahu Akbar. That's great. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Jazakallahu khair. Thank you so much, sister. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. Just uh, like you saw on the screen a moment ago, and I'd like the brothers to bring it back up, inshallah. What we're doing tonight is that we're asking you to buy these Huda TV products. We're asking you to buy a pen for $4. We're asking you to buy a mug for $16. We're asking you to, uh, to buy a t-shirt for $27 for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, uh, to help Huda TV. Uh, we have a phone call from the UAE. Assalamu alaikum. Sister Tanweer. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. I'm calling from Bahrain. Yes, sister, from Bahrain, mashallah, go ahead. Uh, I would like to uh, donate $200 on yes. behalf of my parents who are no more. Mashallah. Mashallah. May Allah reward you, sister. Allah grant them mercy. Oh. And, uh, and $500 on behalf, from my husband on behalf of his parents. Mashallah. Mashallah. Allah Allah and I would like uh, Sheikh Karim to pray for both, for parents from, for both our parents. اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم اللهم جازهم بالحسنات إحسانا بالسيئات عفوا وغفرانا نسأل الله العظيم رب العرش الكريم أن ينزل عليه من رحمات يا رب العالمين اللهم أنزل عليه من رحمة يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم أسكنهم الجنات يا أرحم الراحمين جزاكم الله خيرا نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجمعكم بهم في الجنة يا رب بهم في الجنة يا رب العالمين بارك الله فيكم 
Barakma Fikum Barakma Zakum Allah Khairan Thank you so much all my brothers and sisters for uh, for calling in we're waiting for more of your phone calls uh, uh, brother, uh, uh, brother Malik, I think it's uh, we can release Sheikh Karim now from prison, right? Because <laughs> he's very tired. He's been I, filming here at Huda TV I all actually, morning. Maybe they need to know why. So because I really would like this effort to continue. Yes. I'm recording um, a new series, Tawheed First, and actually another series called Removing the Stain. And I've been in front of the camera the whole day. So I would love to be released. So <laughs> I'm ready for tomorrow. Thank you so much. Inshallah. Sheikh Karim, it's always a pleasure and wonderful to see you. Thank you so much. It's, but uh, I it's know, great to have. Uh, Before you go, we have, <laughs> we have one person who would like to, you to make. Is, is the brother's name Hussam? Did I get that yeah. right, brothers? Abu Ziyad. Okay, Abu Ziyad, he, uh, he donated $1,000 <laughs> <laughs> and Allah he would Allah like Allah. you to make dua for him. Nasa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yakhlif alayka ya Abu Ziyad. Nasa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al azim rabb al arsh al kareem. An yakhlif alayka bi kulli khayr. Wa an yubarik laka fi mali. Wa an yubarik laka fi sahhati. وأن يبارك لك في أهلك وفي ولدك اللهم جازه يا رب العالمين خير الجزاء اللهم اجعل هذه الصدقة زخرا له يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم اخلف عليه يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظه بالإسلام قائمة وبالإسلام قاعدة وبالإسلام راقدا يا رب العالمين جزاه الله خيرا وجزى الله كل من أنفق هذه الليلة من الله سبحانه وتعالى reward everyone who spends tonight may Allah reward you and <laughs> 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 we're going to take a short break in just a moment but uh, guess what brother, brother Hashim from Nigeria Assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum brother Hashim Wa alaikum assalam Thank you so much for calling this this, uh, this evening My name is Alhaji Babajira Hashim calling from Nigeria MashaAllah go ahead uh, I want to make some comments uh, before I make my donation. Please. Go ahead. And uh, uh, I call upon all Muslims all over the world to make their donation in such a way that we can make the, we can call our, uh, all the, those who are not Muslims, we call them into the religion of Islam through preaching. So I advise them to make their donation in such a way so that we can get more uh, come uh, more people that accept Islam. Yeah, me now. Ya Rab. Zakallah khair. How much would you like to contribute tonight, inshallah? Donation on behalf of my late mother Amina of uh, okay. 500 US dollars. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. May Allah bless her and bless you, brother. Uh, I want to make uh, another donation of uh, uh, 300 dollars on behalf of my family. Allahu Akbar. May Allah bless them all. May Allah bless you all, brother. I want to make another donation of 200 dollars uh, on behalf of those people that cannot afford, uh, able to make the donation that they wish if they have some money that they can make it. Mm. Make. So I make that 200 naira on behalf of them. Allahu Akbar. Min al-Ithar. Zakallahu Ithar. Barakallahu Fiq. Barakallahu Fiq. We'll take a last phone call before the break. Sheikh Kareem, bear with us, inshallah, yes, from Libya. Inshallah is uh, the last phone call in this segment. And then uh, we're going to release Sheikh Kareem from prison. <laughs> and we'll continue. No, no, that is not a pleasure. It's not a pleasure, inshallah. Barakallahu Fiq. Thank you so much, Wallahi, yeah. for, no, for this. I mean, I, mean, yeah. I, mean. I think you've been filming here since, what, like 9 or 10 in the morning? 11. Yeah. 11, yeah. mashallah. May Allah reward you, and, and you're here. Throughout the night, may Allah reward you tremendously. But I'm sure a lot of brothers and sisters watching, they're very happy that you're with us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Amin. Assalamu alaikum from Libya. Brother Abdul Rauf. Sorry, Brother Abdul Rauf. I kept you on the phone for too long. Forgive me. Try to give us a call back after the break. Brothers and sisters, we can take a short break, inshallah. We're continuing. The night is. Uh, I think, I don't want to say just getting started. I think halfway we can there. say it's halfway <laughs> there. Let's see if we're halfway to our goal of $500,000, inshallah. We're going to find out the numbers and we'll tell you the details right after the break. I want to remind you that Ahmed Fahmi said, Allah knows what's best for us. So why should we complain? And we have not sent you, O Muhammad.
except as a mercy to all. Islam is the last divinely revealed religion that has spread everywhere in various ages with all of the means of Dawah available. These days, satellite channels are everywhere. So many religious TV channels have been launched to preach the word of Allah here and there. Indeed, Allah has blessed these channels and thus they brought about good results. La ilaha il Allah Muhammad Rasul Allah Allahumma hdina fi man hadayt wa'afina fi As a matter of fact, English is a basic requirement in the field of da'wah because it is the most widely used language in the world and it is spoken by non-Arab Muslims around the world. In addition to the increasing number of English-speaking new converts to Islam, a group of people who are specialized in da'wah and media work got together to achieve this goal. At the beginning of Ramadan, 1426, Huda TV was launched on Nowsat server with the purpose of inviting people to the true religion of Islam through various programs in English. By 1428, we launched our website, and this consequently helped increase Huda viewers multiple times over the world. The world of Islam at your fingertips. Huda, a light in every home. As such, we increased our programming production and our daily broadcasting hours to 24 hours a day. Therefore, we have rescheduled our programs so that they will be available in the different time zones of Europe, America, Africa, and the Middle East. Recently, Huda TV has updated its website and provided it with new items like live streaming and program schedules, in addition to other services like articles, the Tower Bank and forums. Visitors are also able to watch many of our programs on the site's archive. Website visit statistics reveal that the number of visitors is estimated to range between 4 to 8 million depending on the season. And this gives a positive indication that there will soon be a higher number of regular Huda viewers. Thanks to Allah and the great efforts of our sponsors, Huda TV has extended the area of broadcasting to all Europe on Hotbird 8 satellite. This has allowed a great number of our target audience to benefit from our programs. Our banquet includes live and recorded shows which satisfy the interest of all family members at their different ages. So we offer a variety of Islamic programs that are hosted by a selective group of scholars from different countries. For example, our programming includes question and answer sessions. Sirah of the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Correct your recitation, Quran and science, social issues, news, Islamic history, minorities and much more. Moreover, we have daily children programs. This package also includes entertainment and competition programs. Huda TV pays special attention to the programs dealing with Quranic science, Arabic language, and calligraphy. The channel also offers educational and seasonal programs that enlighten people in the different religious-oriented times of the year, such as Ramadan and Hajj. Each Ramadan, we broadcast the Isha and Tarawih prayers with an English translation of the recitation on the screen from Mecca and a French translation from Medina. 
Also during the Hajj season, the channel provides a Hajj live broadcast from Mecca, Arafah, Musdalifa, and Mina. This was highly praised by Huda viewers and also caused many people to convert to Islam. Ashraf, India. Huda TV is the most fabulous Islamic channel that I've ever discovered. Tamra, Malaysia. It is the best and most useful channel that I've ever seen. Vera, Egypt. Huda TV is my best friend. Amna, KSA. I love Huda channel. It helps us to understand Islam better. Shazia, UAE. Huda TV is a shining star in a dark night. Muhammad Fatih, Kurdistan. I spend almost half of my watching TV time on your shows. Keep it up. Munir Amakhel, Afghanistan. Huda TV is playing a great job making people conscious about Islam in the Western world. In life, there are lessons to be learned. What's that fastness? Paradise is earned. And if all hope seems. Huda TV to has be undertaken gone, the collective duty of conveying the message of Islam to, to people of different languages. Huda TV has undertaken the collective duty of conveying the message of Islam to people of different languages. We thank Huda TV for the efforts that it exerts. Huda TV has given Muslim scholars the opportunity of reaching out to other people with the message of Islam. It is really an international TV channel. Huda TV puts the lights of Islam in every home. It has been the cause of guidance and learning for literally millions of people from all walks of life in every continent. Huda puts the light, the light of Islam in every home. And it has been the cause of guidance and learning for literally millions of people from all walks of life uh, in every continent. Just as a farmer feels happy when he harvests, we at Huda TV are likewise happy when our dawah work causes non-Muslims to convert to Islam. I would like you to repeat after me. In order to become Muslim, you will say this formula. I'll say it okay. one word at a time, actually. Ashadu. Ashadu. وَأَشْهَدُ أَشْهَدُ أَنَّ إِنَّ مُحَمَّدًا مُحَمَّدًا رَسُولْ رَسُولْ الله الله Insha'Allah, Huda TV will continue on conveying its message throughout the way of Dawah by the help and support of charitable people. Huda's ambitions are limitless. We aim to cover every corner of the globe, and we have actually done this through our online internet live streaming. In addition, we are currently working on extending Huda to America, Canada, and England. We also aim at producing excellent programs in different languages. So let's walk together on the path of Huda, bearing in mind that if Allah guides one person through you, it is better for you than the most precious wealth. Allah knows what's... Oh, oh, oh.